Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Hope you're all well. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of the year. Let me just give you my global outlook on what I think is going to happen, in my opinion, in 2022. Of course, I'm not reading any glass ball or any profit that I can read into the future. It's only my opinion, of, and that is a warning. Put a clear warning on so compliance are happy and everyone's happy that this is only my opinion. This is what I think is going to happen. If you act upon it and you make money and everything goes great, great. If you lose money, then again, I need to be protected and I don't want to be sued. Okay, because it's very, very volatile markets and people look for scapegoats when it comes to them losing money. I've seen it many, many times. In addition to that, I want to state clearly at the beginning only trade on regulated platforms okay be very very careful of fake news be very very careful out there of um, people saying that they trade with this platform or the salesman calling you up and trying to get you to trade with their platform it's not regulated just be very very careful if you have any doubts please contact me on that and I'll be more than happy to do my research to see if that particular platform is good okay so I'm here to help we're here to protect your money, here to make you money, please God, and of course, to avoid any scams, okay? That is my continuous message on driving markets. Okay, so let's give you a quick global outlook where I think things are gonna happen in 2022. In my opinion, I'm very, very uncomfortable at the moment with asset prices, prices of stocks and shares, S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, I think there is, there's a general opinion amongst analysts and banks that there should be a minimum of 10 to 15% pullback. I'm far more aggressive than that. I think there should be something in the region of 40% pullback. I would not be comfortable investing or buying any assets at these levels. I think if you do go long at these levels, long means you buy them for them to go up. I think you're taking a big risk and the risk reward is too small. On that basis, because the risk reward is too small, you should not be looking to go long, in my opinion. However, you should be looking to go short, in my opinion, again, simply because I think there will be a significant pullback, significant pullback, and you have to be aware of that and be prepared for it. Also, you have to write out the storms. When there is a pullback, it's not clearly identifiable on day one, and the next day it might bounce up like it has this week. But generally, I believe there's going to be a pullback and you should be looking to set up a CFD account, a spread bet account in the UK, looking to take advantage of that pullback. Regarding cryptos, wow. Okay, so the leading crypto is Bitcoin. There's around about 15 or 16,000 coins out there and I'd say 99% of them, or 99.9% .9 of them are speculative. The, cr the jewel in the crown, the flagship of the cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. At the moment, it's running at 90% of its mining capacity, at about 18.9 million. It's got maximum capacity globally of 21 million. So Bitcoin is definitely something that should be looked at. And I think Bitcoin is going to be the main currency that's going to be used in the future to move money around the world. I think the banks are extremely threatened by it. All the other currencies are extremely speculative and can go bust or disappear as fast as they appear. So just be aware of that, because I think also they're highly, highly speculative and it's they're a bit like penny stocks. You might get one in a thousand that will perform and the rest of them will simply not perform. So if you're a crypto trader, you should be looking to put Bitcoin as part of your portfolio and make that the main part of your portfolio. Because there's only 21 million coins in circulation at maximum mining capacity, then it is only a matter of time before Bitcoin will continue rising and go through the roof. And when we say through the roof, we mean significantly higher. And I'm talking about what my guess I'm talking about anywhere between the $200,000 to $250,000 mark over the next three to four years. Just be aware of that. The other coins, which simply I don't really understand the financial basis of them, of, um, are speculative. And therefore, to come along and say, should we do this, should we do that, I simply don't know. And I haven't got really 
a strong opinion on it. Uh, some coins like the dog coin, doggy coin, which is backed by Elon Musk, might have a better chance of being successful purely because you've got someone as wacky as Elon Musk uh, behind it. And uh, once he gets involved in something because of the amount of money purchasing power he has, then you could bet your bottom dollar that it's probably going to move okay uh, so that's an interesting one to look at so overall as far as markets are concerned going forward 2022 we're drawing close to 2021 i would suggest that you be very very careful if you're going to go long look at the risk reward and remember prices are more than fully valued they're overvalued and the price earnings ratio is in super double figures which means that these companies could fail and could fail to produce the earnings that they are projecting or the analysts are projecting and if they fail to produce the earnings that they're projecting then that stock will drop significantly okay um, take into a take into account the massive chip shortage around the world this is going to affect high-tech companies and all producers whether high-tech whether Volvo BMW Mercedes whether it's the uh, military chips are an integral part of that technology and there's a shortage which means it's going to affect the supply chain of the manufacturers and therefore they're going to miss their earnings target take all that into account you have got a potential for in my opinion a major major drop in 2022 and i'll go out on a limb here and i think we're looking at anywhere between conservatively 25 to 35 percent have a good day bless you have a good year and happy holidays, lots of love. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Thank you.